Welcome back everyone to Send Travel. In this video we'll be presenting 10 of the best places to visit in England. Be sure to watch the video till the end as you'll be amazed at all of the wonders that England has in store. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Here you'll find the best travel destinations for your next vacation. Now let's go straight to the video. We made a list of places to go and see so you can get the most out of your visit to England. While there are many excellent locations to explore, these 10 are absolutely essential and shouldn't be missed by any traveler who wants to experience everything that England has to offer. Without further ado, let's get to know the top 10. Number 10. Lake District The Lake District is one of the most beautiful parts of the country and should not be missed. This region is known for its rugged landscapes, lakes, and mountains. It has an absolutely breathtaking scenery with hills, mountains, and lakes everywhere you look. It's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the natural beauty. Known as God's Own County, it's easy to see why this area is a must-see destination for travelers. You can also explore your creativity because Lake District has an amazing art scene that ranges from sculptures to paintings. Tourists can spend hours browsing through galleries or checking out local shops. There are endless activities in this region that will appeal to people of all ages. Number 9. Bristol The city of Bristol is known for its picturesque waterfront, the Clifton Suspension Bridge, and its beautiful Georgian architecture. Not only are these three things a great reason to visit Bristol, but the city also offers so much more. It's one of the most green cities in all of Europe due to its beautiful parks, gardens, and riverside trails. There are many museums and galleries in Bristol where you can find everything from natural history exhibits to contemporary art collections. You can also enjoy a night out on one of Bristol's world famous pubs or live music venues that offer everything from jazz to rock and roll. Number eight, Peak District. The Peak District is a beautiful part of the world with breathtaking views of the countryside. It's a great place to go for some peace and quiet or to make memories that'll last a lifetime. There are plenty of things to do in this area, from hiking through the hills to relaxing by one of its many lakes. Remember to visit Windy Hill. It has stunning views and it's perfect for those who want some solitude. Visitors can also enjoy the wildlife here, including roe deer and buzzards. Number seven, York. The Yorkshire Dales are a great vacation destination for those who love nature. With rolling hills, lakes, and hiking trails, this area is perfect for those looking for a more adventurous stay. If you're not a hiker or camper, there are plenty of other options like horseback riding that can be just as fulfilling and enjoyable. Whatever your preference is, the Yorkshire Dales have something to offer. It's also an excellent place to visit in the winter months. Tourists will find no shortage of things to do in York when they want a break from shopping or exploring museums and galleries. It's an excellent town for culture lovers too. There are many historic buildings throughout the city, including York Minster, the largest medieval cathedral in Northern Europe, the National Railway Museum, the Jorvik Viking Center, and the York Castle Museum. Number six, Stonehenge. Stonehenge is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world and has been since it was first discovered. This ancient structure located on Salisbury Plain, Wiltshire, is an architectural marvel that's still a mystery today. Visitors from all over flock to see the site and with some luck, watch the sunrise or sunset from atop the stones themselves. Stonehenge was also declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has been for over 50 years. 
When you think about tourism in England, Stonehenge should come to mind as a must-see destination because it symbolizes so much about this country. You can't visit Britain without seeing at least one monument that dates back thousands of years, and this is certainly one worth seeing. Number 5. Cornwall If you're into history, Cornwall has plenty to offer with many sites from the Iron Age, Bronze Age, and Roman periods. St. Ives is a small town on the north coast of Cornwall that was once an important trading post for Tin Mind in Wales. It's also home to the Tate Gallery's art collection, which includes works by Monet, Turner, and Picasso. Further inland is Tintagel Castle, believed by some to be King Arthur's birthplace, as well as Bodmin Moor, which attracts visitors for its walking trails through ancient woodlands and wildflower meadows. Number 4. South Dorset South Dorset is a haven for wildlife and bird watchers boasting some of the most beautiful and rare habitats in Europe. From Bournemouth International Jazz Festival to a carnival in Weymouth and 10 days of international street arts at Lyme Regis Carnival, there are plenty of events that happen all year round in South Dorset to keep you entertained. The Lulworth Castle is one of the country's finest examples of a restored medieval castle offering spectacular views over Dorset. Built by Henry VIII, it features 13 acres and 37 buildings, from theater parks to woodland walks, with something to enjoy for everyone. Number 3. The Cotswolds The Cotswolds are a very historical place in England. You can visit the Cotswold stone villages that have a history that stretches back to Roman times, and they also have some amazing architecture. Also, you'll be able to find Chipping Campton, a charming small town with gorgeous buildings, cobbled streets, and an old market square. You can't visit Cotswolds without sampling cider in one of the many cider-making establishments. Number two. Cambridge. If you're looking for culture, then Cambridge has plenty to offer. The university has some interesting tours where you can learn about Cambridge's history from its free walking tour to the Cambridge experience. Whether it be the theater collection at King's College or one of their many museums like Fitzwilliam Museum or Sedgwick Museum of Earth Sciences, there's always something new to do. One thing that we recommend doing is going to see a play, as it is a very popular activity among students and locals alike. If you want to stay active during your time in Cambridge, then we suggest taking up one of the multitude of sports offered by the city. Take up rowing on the river camp, take part in rugby football, take up tennis, go bowling, or even hit a game of cricket. Number one. London. There are a lot of reasons why you should visit London. For starters, it's the capital city and has all the amazing sights that come with it, such as Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and Westminster Abbey. Plus, there are so many different types of things to do while you're here. From going to one of the world's most beautiful parks in Hyde Park, to seeing iconic landmarks at night on a double-decker bus tour, you'll never be bored. You can even learn how to make pastries or watch Shakespearean plays during your free time. If you love being active, you can go rock climbing or whitewater rafting. But if you'd just rather relax, spend your time enjoying some tea in one of the many cafes around town. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our next videos of travel ideas and much more. We'll soon be back with more content, so stay tuned and take care.